Hey everybody, how's it going? So in the previous video, we looked at upgrading an Angular 2 app to Angular 4. And if you remember in that video, I was asking, is there a new version of the Angular CLI for Angular 4? At the time, I didn't know. I was playing around. And in fact, I did a little bit of reading after I made that video. And there is. There is a new version of the Angular CLI. So here it is, it's on this page here. And down the bottom, essentially, is the npm install command that you need, which is slightly different to the Angular 2 one. So they're using a different one. Now, there are there is a prerequisite for this, and the prerequisite is essentially Node 6.9, okay? Together with Node Package Manager 3 or higher, which I happen to have on this computer. So if you haven't got that stuff, you better grab that stuff first, before following along in this video. So coming down, literally all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up a command prompt and run this on my Mac computer here. So I created a new folder called Angular 4. Before I do anything, I'm gonna literally paste in that command and run it. So we've seen this before, this is pretty stand for NPM. So while it's doing that, we'll have a bit of a read of what's going on here. So a lot of the commands are very similar. You've got ng-serve. Uh, you can sp still specify a host if you really want to and a port if you really want to. But ng-serve is still enough for my videos anyway. There's still an ng-generate, which is ng-g, which I use a lot. You can still create components. And you've got the whole standard one set here, okay? Um, if you do want to remove the original NPM uh, Angular CLI, you can do that. Uh, I didn't have to do this. It seemed to work fine um, side by side when I was doing it. It says if you're in beta 28 or less, you need to uninstall it. So I wasn't in beta 28. So if you are in an old version of the Angular CLI, you will need to uninstall it and use the new one. But I wasn't. So everything was fine, but probably I should remove it anyway, but I'm keeping it there because I'm still using it um, to run my Angular 2 uh, applications that I still currently have. And I'm not gonna be changing those simply because anyone that's watching my videos still needs it to work. So I'm not gonna be upgrading any of my previous uh, solutions to Angular 4. But everything that I'll be doing from this point onwards will be using Angular 4 and the Angular 4 CLI, okay? So now that I've ran that terminal thing, it seems to be all good now. We don't seem to have any issues like we did with the upgrade. And that's not coming to my house, I promise you that. And we actually, I actually get a lot, this a lot in this area because I'm on a main road where I am. But yeah, they're not coming to my house, I promise. Anyway, everything seems to be okay here. All the dependencies seem to be loaded. There's no issue so far. So let's give this Angular 4 thing a little bit of a try. So I'm going to just check to make sure I'm in, nothing's in the Angular 4 directory. And I'm going to go ng new. And we'll just say trial app. So ng new is creating a new application using the Angular CLI to generate it. So I'm just going to call it trial app. As you can see, it quickly created all the files I needed, uh, and now it's installing the packages. Now I'm gonna quickly jump over to the code here, and I've got the Angular 4 trial. I think that's from a previous video, so I'm just gonna close this and reopen it. Close, and we'll reopen the new folder that's been created, this trial app, and I'll open the entire folder because what I want to look at is the package.json. And now you can see Angular Common is version 4, Angular Compile version 4, so on and so forth. They're all version 4 now, except for obviously RxJS, which is still 5, but that's a different library. And there's a few other dependencies that are here as well. And then we've still got the dependencies that we had from the previous, you know, the previous version. However, Angular CLI is version one right now. And the Angular compiler is also version four. 
So everything seems to be fine. All we need to do is let all the packages install, which they have now done so. So we'll come in, we'll go ng serve, just like we used to. And I have to be inside the project. I keep forgetting to do that. So CD trial app. And now we'll go ng serve. And just like before, it hosted on port 4200 by default, unless you tell it otherwise, which I don't really care. I'm happy where it is. And as a result, when I go localhost 4200, you've got a default Angular 2 app running in the Angular CLI that's using Angular 4.0. And that's all I'm going to show for this video. Pretty straightforward. I will leave the URL for this document in the description of this video so you guys can follow along and do a little bit of reading yourself. There's obviously more involved here than just installing it, especially if you have to uninstall because you're using a beta version. There's some extra information here that you may need to do. And bottom line is, it was pretty simple to do, okay? Unlike the upgrade, which I had some issues, for you guys, it might have been straightforward. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Thank you everybody for listening, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.